Hello, I am Victor Paredes. I am the product manager of Moho. And I want to show you the improvements to the SVG import in Moho 14. So here is Inkscape, uh, a vector program, and here is an SVG character. So you can see it's done with different vectors here. So it has several layers, it has several groups, it has gradients applied to it. So you can see the gradient working here. So it is a very complex, or it's kind of a complex FBG file. All right. So now if we go to Moho, I can go to File, Import, SVG file, and I can select this SVG. And now I can select some of the options for the SVG. So I want to consolidate some of the layers. I want to consolidate the vector layers. I want to show the group layers. I have some options here. I also have some options for the scaling on the screen. So I will set it to 50%. And then you can play with other options depending on what you need for the SVG file. So I will just hit OK. And now Moho is importing the entire SVG separated by layers. So now you can see the SVG here. And I can open this group. And you can see I have the characters separated from the background. I can open the background layer. And here is the background. And here are the gradients working from the SVG. So everything is working nice here. I can open the characters and I can see each part of the character. So actually, let me just fade the unselected layer so we know what layer we are selecting. So now this is the group for the the space woman here so we have the antenna we have another group with the arm and the parts of the arm and other groups but basically we can import the SVG file and it will work perfectly and now again I showed this in another um, in another tutorial but if you are seeing some of the images pixelated so in this case you you see that if we are not selecting the cloud here, it will look pixelated. And when I select it, it will look nice. But if I selected anything else, now it will look pixelated. And this is something that Moho does to run faster. Uh, but if you want to see everything very clean, you can go to display and you can turn off the GPU caching. So when I do that, now everything looks smooth, even if the layers are not selected. So depending on what you need for your project and depending if you really need to see everything very very clear you can turn it off now usually it's very useful to have it turn it on because the performance can improve a lot because of that all right but we have this new svg working much much better the previous svg system was very old and it didn't work uh, too well so i know many many people were asking for a better system so now in moho 14 we have a uh, much much better system so that's it i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching